the University of Alaska Southeast Marine Lab in Juneau, Alaska. And behind me is an item that looks like a refrigerator. It's actually an incubator that we have our incubation experiment going on. So we are testing to see if phytoplankton will take up nutrients released from whale poo to make them grow. So I'm going to show you our experimental setup. This is Francesca Johnson. She is a UAS undergraduate. So here we see her carefully measuring out some whale poo that we will eventually be adding to our bottles of seawater and phytoplankton. You see all of these bottles? These were set up by my student, uh, my undergraduate student, Francesca Johnson. And in each of these bottles, we'll zoom in here, we see a different uh, treatment or uh, experiment going on with seawater and added phytoplankton and then different species of whale poo. So we'll zoom in further here. We can see uh, this has some gray whale poo in it. You can see the poo at the bottom and then we're hoping through time the water will look a little bit green, meaning that the phytoplankton are growing. So we're now ready to filter all of the incubated samples and the samples look something like this. They still have fecal particulate matter in the bottom, um, but we're just gonna filter the whole thing and then measure the chlorophyll that comes out of them. Okay, so we filtered the samples through glass fiber filters, which we showed you before, and then we placed them in acetone, which helps to extract the chlorophyll from the cells. And you can see the filter and some of the particulate fecal matter in here right now. We're going to centrifuge these, which spins them really fast and consolidates all of the solid material at the bottom. And then we're going to measure the fluorescence of what's in the liquid using the fluorometer. And that will hopefully tell us how much chlorophyll is in the samples now that they've been incubated with fecal matter. So from that measurement, we found that the chlorophyll level was 0.84 micrograms per liter and we'll have to look at the data and compare it to the other samples to figure out what that means for the incubation experiment as a whole.